Pamter Droipal, National Presiding Bishop for the Church of God of Prophecy in the United Kingdom. We are thankful for this season of prayer across our international church network, and in particular for our corporate prayer movement team who have worked hard to coordinate the focal points of this drive for this year and all the previous years. We are praying and interceding on a personal basis, but also local and a national and international basis. This is important for us to do so in these challenging times in which we are ministering. I wish to pray over and into the current challenges we are facing, whether they be physical, emotional or spiritual. I am praying from a position of being seated in Christ Jesus and being far above principalities and powers. I am also trusting in the promises that God has made to us that whatsoever we ask in his name, he will do it. I therefore pray for enlightenment and empowerment. We pray, O oh God, that you would guard us with your mighty hand. Protect us from the forces of evil, from principalities and powers, from the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Grant to our leaders your wisdom which comes from above. Let them be guided by your light in these times of increasing darkness. Let them not lean to their own understanding. Let us not lean, Lord, to our own knowledge base and skill sets. But, Father, in all that we do, let us lean on you. Father, I pray that the leaders of our nations, of our country, will not compromise the constitutional rights of your people, but uphold that which is right and just and pleases you. Father, we announce justice we announce righteousness lord and we decree that we shall not bow our knees to any other god than jehovah our creator we prevail in prayer for every institution of our nation for our family for our marriages for our church for our schools for our government Free us, God, from strongholds and put them to shame as we decree and declare that our communities are free from illiteracy, violence, unemployment, witchcraft, rape, abortion, and poverty. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and announce that our families are free from domestic violence, especially in this time of difficulty, hunger, incest, child abuse, disunity and hatred. Our marriages are free from divorce, cheating, emotional, physical and financial abandonment. Our schools, colleges and universities are free from ignorance, perversion, drugs and illiteracy. In the name of Jesus, our churches are free from compromise, disunity, religious spirits and sexual immorality. Our government is free from dictatorship, bias, crime, disunity and greed. We decree and declare that those in our government who mean us no good will be replaced by those who mean good for the people and our government will be just and moral. We speak to every component of our economy that provides opportunities for our children, for our people, for our fathers, our mothers and our grandfathers. Lord, we speak to our consumption, our investment, our government spending, our exports and our imports and command them to shift to positively impact our economy in the name of Jesus. Lord, it is not your will that your people should be in want, but grant us the wisdom, the discernment, the ability to serve the citizens of our nation as we care for each other and serve one another. 
Lord, we pledge our loyalty, our heart, the wisdom and the courage of our mind, the strength and vigour of our body in the service of our fellow citizens so that the kingdom of God will come in force in our nation. Father, we pray that the spirit of the living God will rest upon our young men and young women and Lord, they will not become a negative statistic, my God, including statistic of murder, crime, robbery, unemployment, gang violence and death. Father, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Let them rise from above these circumstances. That, Lord, that when they see, they will look up and see you, Lord. Circumstances that seem difficult and impenetrable. May the light of Jesus permeate penetrate Lord and shatter the chain which binds your children we pray that they will not lose hope or lose sight of their dreams or vision for their lives but will find life and life more abundantly in you Christ Jesus now O oh Lord hear O oh Lord forgive O oh Lord listen and heal your land our land Heavenly Father, I thank you for all your redemptive work, gift of eternal life and endowment of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you that you're in us and with us. And Father, we are confronted on every side, but our hope is in you. I pray that the hearts of all of your children may be besieged with the marvelous light of your gospel of grace and glory, which has been given to all who trust in you, O oh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Help us all to understand the confident hope we have in you, our Lord. Rest upon us, work through us, transform us to illuminate our societies, our families, in the name of Jesus. Amen.